We are at a place called Oaksterdam University, a place dedicated to teaching all things about cannabis. This is the nursery, and you can see this equipment behind me where they teach people how to grow cannabis. We are here because the guy who founded this place is leading the effort to get full legalization in California. Our camera was rolling as Richard Lee got the news. For him, there was never any doubt that marijuana would get on the ballot. We needed 433,971 valid signatures to qualify for the California ballot. How many did you get? We got 690,000 total. They use paid petition gatherers, but Lee says he's confident of a win in the fall that would make marijuana legal for Californians 21 and older to possess an ounce for personal use. We're going to get our message out there, and I think people are more receptive to it than they've ever been. For Lee, a victory would mean public validation to a life's calling. Three years ago, he founded an Oakland school that teaches students how best to grow, sell, and even consume cannabis. It's called Oaksterdam University. Get it? A combination of Oakland and Amsterdam. Lee started the school after a trip to that city and seeing how marijuana was openly sold there. Some people, cannabis is like a religion. Until now, full legalization had never really been taken seriously by voters. But Lee sees an opening with the state budget crisis and the tax revenue it would bring, possibly hundreds of millions of dollars a year. According to a California field poll taken last year, more than half, 56% of Californians support legalization. Opponents realize they have some work to do and can see they'll be outspent, but think their arguments are too powerful to ignore. Why on earth would we want to add yet another mind-altering substance to the array of legal substances that compromise a person's five senses, where we know they're going to make bad decisions, some criminal? To a museum. Richard Lee says it's about adults making their own decisions. Twenty years ago, a spinal cord injury put him in a wheelchair. He says he smokes cannabis medically and for recreation. Well, I really see this as, my, as following the history of alcohol. Um, the way it was, prohibition was repealed there. Just like any heated campaign, expect the airwaves to be filled with commercials from both sides. Those in favor of legalization hope to raise as much as $20 million for advertising. Dan Simon, CNN, Oakland.